Hi, welcome to the last part in the seven episode series on funding fundamentals. And in today's episode, we are going to evaluate and learn the advantages and disadvantages of going towards funding. All the very best and happy learning. Well, you know that this is a seven episode series on funding fundamentals. If in case you have missed the first six episodes, the links are mentioned in the description for effective learning. Please do check them out. And before you move forward, do not forget to subscribe to this video. I think whosoever asked a question just now, you will have an answer in this particular thing, right? Whether should I raise or should I not raise? Okay. Again, since you are anyway tech company, you are a non-tech company. It's not applicable. Let us only look at these guys. You are a tech company. Yes, we we'll only look at this, right? Now this is guidance. You asked me, right? What is your guidance? This is my guidance, which I told you there. I'm repeating again. Here. Now. The ideal thing is this, you are a tech company, you are making revenue and you are also growing super people also will love you. You are a tech company, you are making revenue, but your growth is a little bit thing. TK, we will still wait for how you get your growth. You are a tech company, your revenue is not there, but your growth opportunity is high. Still, it is all right. If you're a tech company, none of these things are there, then you're dying. Jump off the ship as early as possible. Now, the same thing, to make it even more interesting, we're going to learn with examples. Right? So, leave all of the above things. This is not relevant to us. What is relevant to us? This, right? See? Everything is good. Example is e-commerce. Go ahead. This is the 8 to 12 X's would be generally your pre These are all thumb rules, guys. Now, why, what, etc. is a different thing. Say, for example, you're making a revenue of 20 crores per annum, then you can peg, you can peg your valuation anywhere between 160 to 240 crores, provided you fall into this eight category. Suppose, yes, you are a tech company, your revenue is there, but profitability is not there. Then you generally 6x, right? Uh, 5x to 6x. Uh, that means, okay, I have, uh, I have 20 crores, but valuation is around 120 crores. Are you there with me? The reason why you need to go, why people go for more valuation is because they lose less of their ownership. You're able to understand? Right. Now, you're a tech company, you have growth, but you don't have revenue, doesn't really matter. Generally, these are valuations are not necessarily with respect to X. These are very, very early stage. That means you haven't yet validated anything. So it is roughly a one to two million kind of a validation. Now, you are a non-tech company, doesn't really matter, but you have good revenue and good growth. All offline channels, right? Non-tech companies, basically business models, franchising models, etc. These guys are generally the multiplication is three times their annual revenue. This case, don't raise. This case, don't raise. This case also, don't raise. Guys, are you here? Now you need to understand where you are falling. People, if you are, if you are, if you are following this. 40 minutes, whatever we have spent, we are basically getting into very, very, very niche nitty gritties to apply those filters to, to your ideas, right? Okay. Hope, hope these are of value to you. We have almost come towards the end. We looked at, we looked at basically what are the parameters that you need to look at market size, growth opportunity, competition, global local supply. We looked at what are different kinds of funds, grant, debt, and equity. We also looked at what investors expect in also in each of these things. We then also looked at whether based on your tech, your revenue, your growth, etc., whether it is good to raise, when to raise, etc. Revenue, growth, and tech are very, very important to define how much to raise, what to raise. We looked at different stages of the particular startups which stage, how much money, what is it called as, etc. Well, 
having said all of these things my personal my this is my personal feeling right this is my personal feeling raise funds increase the valuation create wealth but not at the cost of losing your ownership not at the cost of losing your word or essay because understand one thing here why did you start up you started up because you do not want to be an employee right do not get into this particular trap of becoming a founder becoming an employee again this is what i advise all of you but otherwise grow raise money grow with that money grow your company start adding value to the customers make big name for yourself but always remember more the funding lesser your ownership choose your investors rightly please be very careful at no point of time the worst thing that could ever happen is guys is a great founder a great entrepreneur a great guy who has built a great product but because he did not have the right guidance and mentorship and right i would say uh, advice he has become a great employee that's the worst thing that could happen i think with this this is rajiv waisar your coach your mentor your friend and your guide signing off for today well with this we have finished all the important seven parts in the series on funding fundamentals in in case you want us to learn even more and if you want us to cover even different topics do mention them in the comments and we will produce them for you all the very best do not forget to subscribe god bless you